Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm here with another diecast car review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, 118th scale Jeep Wrangler by Maisto or Maisto, however you want to pronounce it. So let's get started with a quick overview. I, like, I love the color combination on this too. The black with I guess the beige or kind of sand colored top and interior there looks really nice thing I do like about it, the got the fog lights on the front there, I think that looks pretty cool. And it does have the, the antenna is actually a folding antenna and very flexible, so that's nice to see. Because the as you know, uh, anybody who know, you know, you collect diecast cars, you know the antennas are very fragile and they can easily be snagged if you're just trying to dust them off or whatever, but so it's nice to see a flexible folding antenna like that, that you don't have to worry about breaking it off. I'll go ahead and open it up. The one thing I like about this too that actually kind of surprised me, just being like I said, a, a cheapy Maisto model, it does have a nice level of detail. It has the actual working hood pins, so you just uh, pull them out, and go ahead and pop the hood open. And you can see there's just the little holes they fit into there in the side. They are a little tricky to get in, and the one on the right side doesn't always stay in, but it's still kind of cool, I think. And I'll give you a closer look at the uh, interior and the engine compartment here in a second. The back glass does not open on this particular model, and the uh, top is not removable. I kind of thought it was for a minute, but I looked inside and it's fastened to the body. So I guess you could take it off if you want to, but I'm not going to bother. Alright, so I'll give you a closer look at the interior and the engine here. My apologies if the camera gets a little shaky. So overall, pretty decently detailed engine. Nothing nothing great, but not bad either for a Maisto. I hope you guys can see that interior okay. Try to adjust my lighting here a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that. set the camera back down here. Right, so I'll go ahead and close it up. I'm not going to bother to put in the hood pin because like I said they're a little difficult to get in so I'll put those back in later. The only complaint I guess I did have with this model was the back hinge doesn't exactly line up with the little uh, locking mechanism. You just got to kind of like, see if you're closing it like just pushing it in, it doesn't exactly line up. You got to kind of lift it up and then push it in. But that's no big deal. And when you're opening it too, you guys probably can't see this that well. But this little like uh, the little latch here on the side, when you're opening it, does kind of scrape some paint off the 
edge of the model. I noticed that the first time I opened it, I guess it just wasn't fitted right at the factory or whatever. But again, not that big of a deal. It's just a little, little chip there. And like I said, it's a Maisto, and I paid $20 for this, so I'm not expecting anything super great detail or, you know, anything like that. But overall, it's a pretty decent model for, you know, a Maisto. I'll give you a quick undercarriage view. This does have the working suspension as well. guys well that's it for now as always thanks for taking the time to check out the video i'll see you guys next time